Good morning and thank you for tuning in to your daily operations weather briefing for Tuesday, June 4th. Seeing some mostly sunny skies out there this morning with just a little bit of cirrus cloudiness. It's going to be an absolutely beautiful day out there with a very pleasant temperature in the mid-70s. And then we're going to start warming things up again with a little bit more humidity as we go into tomorrow in the next couple of days. Taking a look at our service analysis uh, across the area, we do have high pressure settled right across, right over the mid-Atlantic region. That actually led to some uh, uh, cooler temperatures across the region with the uh, clear skies and good radiational cooling. Did even see some spots get down into the uh, 40s across the Delmarva this morning. So very uh, cool morning, cool start to the day here, and only going to get those temperatures in the 70s. So going to be a really great day for doing any sort of outside work. Uh, throughout the rest of this afternoon. Currently we're looking at a temperature of uh, 63 degrees as of 8.15 a.m. Skies uh, were scattered at 25,000 with just a few clouds at the 3,000 foot level. Winds were from the northwest that as in the 3.30 at around 5 knots with a humidity of around 55 percent. Just taking a quick look at our satellite image here. You did see we do have an abundance of upper level cloudiness mainly across the southern half of the uh, mid-Atlantic region. We'll kind of be above the uh, bulk of that or north of the bulk of that cloudiness only remaining about scattered uh, at 25,000 throughout today and so it's going to remain uh, mostly sunny with uh, beautiful conditions throughout the day today. Taking a look at our forecast chart for today, going to be seeing that high gets up to 75 degrees this afternoon. And as we go into tonight, going to be seeing more of a mild low as we see those winds shift more south southwesterly as that high pressure shifts east of the area. That'll help to us start to usher in a little bit more of a warmer and more humid air mass, only allowing that temperature to drop to around 65 degrees by uh, tomorrow morning. Our winds are going to remain a northwesterly around 5 to 10 knots uh, for the next couple hours, then starting to shift westerly by the afternoon hours, becoming 8 to 13 knots uh, through about sunset. Then we're going to see those winds uh, shift more southerly at 4 to 9 knots uh, starting around sunset, and then uh, becoming south-southwesterly at 6 to 11 knots overnight, and uh, increasing to 8 to 13 knots from the southwest by mid-morning Wednesday. Take a look at our terminal forecast. Going to just be seeing uh, that upper level cloudiness throughout the day today. Could become broken at times as we go towards uh, this afternoon. Then as we go on towards this evening, as those winds shift southerly, we will see those clouds increase uh, just a little bit, especially in the mid uh, levels where we'll see that deck near 12,000 feet start to uh, enter the area, mainly after midnight, becoming broken at 12,000 feet, with a few to scattered at 4,000 feet at times by the pre dawn hours of Wednesday. And then by mid morning uh, tomorrow, We'll be seeing some mostly cloudy skies scattered at 2,500, broken at 4,000, broken at 15,000, and broken at 25,000 uh, by sunrise tomorrow. Seeing tides a little bit high out there at one half foot above normal. For tomorrow, we're going to be looking at just partly sunny skies with a chance of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm, especially late. Looks like the bulk of any rain we'll see tomorrow is going to hold off until after sunset, but it is, uh, despite the Increase in cloudiness tomorrow. We are going to be seeing a good, strong southwesterly flow across the region. That'll help to really bump up those temperatures to a high of 85. Also, increasing the humidity across the region. As we get that front approaching the area, that's going to bring us that rain. That's also going to increase our pressure gradient, which will uh, ramp up our, give us some uh, slightly gusty winds. So you can expect a fairly good chance of seeing a wind advisory by tomorrow afternoon. By Wednesday night, we are going to be seeing a front with some decent upper-level dynamics impact area. We are going to be looking for uh, both showers and thunderstorms across much of the Del Marva. It looks like uh, pretty much uh, any time during the uh, Wednesday night time frame we're going to be seeing those showers and storms impacting the region, possibly seeing some brief heavy rain and strong gusty winds and some storms. That's going to also, that uh, moisture in the area as well as continued west to southwesterly flow is also going to keep our low, very mild Wednesday night, only seeing that low down to 73. On Thursday, going to be seeing the chances of those uh, showers lingering through um, Thursday morning. Still going to be looking at mostly cloudy skies throughout the day Thursday. Winds are going to remain westerly throughout the day. That's going to allow those that temperature to rise uh, once again to a very warm high near 87 when we'll see those clouds decrease in the afternoon time frame on Thursday. That'll do it for your daily operations weather brief. We'll be back at 10 a.m. for your full weather briefing and extended outlook. Have a great day.